So those are really good questions, and um, so I'll start with the latter, uh, how many associations have joined us. Um, since we are really young, we just basically started, um, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, setting up the executive team and just launching it today. 
Uh, we're going to be launching, I mean, we're going to be reaching out to all of the associations that are here that um, are doing some work regarding youth, because our main focus is the youth. So uh, anything that uh, affects the youth, we want to pursue that. We want to set some light on that. So we'll, 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 we'll contact all of these associations. And it's, we are coming from a, a place of like wanting to be a part of your association. We want you to succeed. We want uh, to come out and support you. Um, if we are able to financially, yes, we will. Uh, if we are able to uh, setting some light on your stories, calling people out that uh, Green Up is um, having a tree planting exercise in, let's say, Brikama, telling people, how about we, we go and help this, you know, uh, and kind of like provide our, our, our support, support to them. Because whatever they are seeking here is for our own, our collective good. You know, you know, planting trees and all of that. So we want to be that association which we provide help. We want to make sure that you succeed because we have a stake in that. So we, we're going to reach out to all of them. I, I have most of the associations I like, and I'm also like doing this interview with, uh, with people, from leaders to just random people out here in this country who that, that would also be coming out maybe when I, when I go back to the States. Uh, so we, 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 will, we, will, we will reach out, we'll make that, we'll do that work. I think we are just starting off, so we cannot list specific associations that are part of us, but we are part of all of the associations that are out there. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> the next step would be uh, registering. So uh, my friend here, my, my little brother, Gwinja, who's our lawyer, is the one working on um, registry. He checked the uh, database and, and all of that. So. So the, the registry and everything else should be processed. If not processed, should be processed very, very soon. Um, but, but like Mariam was saying, like this is an initiative that is just came up to the Gambian youths about like how can we figure this out together? Because it's like we are in this, we are in this boat or we are in this ship that is sinking. And I'm not trying to exaggerate stuff, but we all know that a lot of things are just broken out here in this country. You know? So what can we do? Because we cannot continue to look away. You cannot be part of the, the problem and want the solution. What can we do collectively, coming together, figuring out these issues? Modu Ture, I know, uh, for a long time he's been in the media. I can come to him and tell him, like, okay, this story has been happening, let's say, mental health or like violence level in Brikama. You've been covering this for some time. Like, what do you think is the cause of this? How can we solve it? You know, that's just coming from that point of view of like, collectively, let's do this together. We want, I can be the initiator of this, but let's say my sister here, Salma, is more capable, more, more competent. I want Salma to lead. Help us out, find the solutions to how we can take care of these issues, because this is the country we have. If this country, like, even from a selfish point of view, if, if you were in America, you're sitting in America, and, but Gambia is all broken, where are you gonna go back to? You know, you don't, you shouldn't wanna be a part of that, so we're gonna reach out, everybody from, like, if I go on, on the beach for running in the morning to giving someone a ride or, or a friend's house, anybody that I talk to, I'm like, how can we make this place better? And people are like surprised that you ask that question because we are out here. Sometimes we even celebrate people who take our collective resource. You have the minister, you have the councillor, you have a, a, a secretary, whatever. But like our collective money, you are just lavishly spending out that out here. And people are like, you should be praised. You should be. Up, you should be. I guess sometimes you don't get it, but it's just going to be like if everybody's looking at one direction, you come and tell them like we can look at look at this other direction. We can do better. Like we have some resources here, you know, our, our beach, our you know, you. It's all owned by these foreigners, you know. And I was telling someone, politics as usual has failed us, you know, time and again, but we keep just following them. And today I know some, you know, part of the reason we don't have much people here is because, if, you know, we have some political rally going on. It's good, you know. My, my dad's probably the chairman of, of a political party out there. It's good, it's important. But what's more important is just 
wanting better in our society, regardless of politics. You know, and then and yeah, I'm not gonna keep going here, but yeah, yeah. But that's that's, that's that's very yeah. much about. Thank you so much. Just yeah. just to add. Mm -hmm. country if you don't have funds for something it doesn't work so do you have any idea on how to raise funds or do you have donors like planning to do something let's say organize a fundraising and then whatever you have might be used or invented or something or help another organization to come up that's my question whether you have any Just to add on to the question, whether we have, have there are about the number of youth organizations that we already have on our list. Well, uh, it's just a starting that we, we are just trying to sell out the idea to people because we have seen that it is very necessary. Because we cannot all be going in our individual lines, that this is what we do. Because I believe. And we all believe here that whenever we come up together and then pursue a unifying goal, then that becomes our strength. So this has become the idea. Then when we sit together, that was uh, the main core of our discussion. We asked ourselves, okay, fine. Well, we, we, are, we recognize that youths are doing very well in this country. But how comes it is not noticed? Or how comes the impact is not still being felt by the people that they are trying to develop? So we say to ourselves, yes, the best way to make it so that recognition is given to the people's effort is by bringing them together, not just bringing them together, but also helping them reach out to people that they are trying to develop. Or because uh, recognition itself, it's a way of developing an individual. Because if you want somebody to be more committed to what he or she is doing, the first thing that he needs from you is that recognition. Like you said, well, what you are doing today is indeed great. And just keep up doing it. And then that alone gives the person the motivation. So this is also an aspect of what we are going to do, making so that Gambians youths, their efforts have been recognized. And once we started doing that, we think of other ways as to how we work on the bigger plan in making sure that they succeed in whatever they are doing. So that's the idea. So at this stage, we are at the stage of development. As we go, we gradually develop, and then you will see a lot of things coming from us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and I, yes, think, I think it speaks uh, to the, the funding, which is really important. Um, so, so like uh, I was saying, we are going to start by being a, an association that sheds light on issues. So uh, if we know of, because I, you know, I keep bringing this mental health issue because I think it's an, the issue here is if you are on these beaches, you see young youth, Gambian men sitting out there, most of them, if they talk to you, you know, what you hear is just hopelessness. You hear stress that, that they're going through. Um, so, so if we want to raise some awareness on, on the mental health issue in the Gambia, you know, we can go there and talk to people and hear from them directly, but also how can we make sure that more of the Gambian youth are aware of this issue? How can we make sure that the parastatals, the government body that, that, were, that are assigned with the task of looking at the well-being or the healthcare of Gambian youth hear about this? How maybe I just take, get to my Facebook or email the Ministry of Youth and something and be like, this is an issue, we've been talking to people, what are you guys doing about it? If they talk about it, here is a resource, and then we can come to our youths here who are part of our uh, social media page and tell them, okay, you know this is an issue. If you know a brother, if you know a friend dealing with mental health issues, we talk to them, they said, contact this person, go to this healthcare facility, go to Kampamara or anything. So, 
So it would start off being not costly on us because we, we, we are trying to be more of a social media platform since we are all on our phones on a daily, uh, you know, so we can look people on their phones to know what's going on. But going forward, we, we definitely, with, with the help of Mariama Banna, who, or Baba, who are already in this field, you know, also reaching out, like, if you have time to contribute and you, you, you are part of, like, pushing this agenda forward, we want you on your team. We want you on our team. Like, this is your team. If you, if you, if you want a better life, because I, uh, I was posted, I don't know, it's just a transition, but make your su success true service to others. I posted this on my Facebook, and I, I feel like, you know, we all, I was telling my boy here, Mamadi, like, we all, we don't know when we're going to die. You can die next 10 minutes here. You don't know that, you don't have control over that. But, but we have control over how we live the little time that we have here. What do you want to be remembered as? So, you know, this is where I'm from. This is home for me. I'm really passionate about this. I don't have anything to lose. You know, this is not going to be my, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. I have a job. I'm going to continue that name. I'm going to continue creating a source of income for myself. But how can I be a voice? How can I talk to hear from me good people who want better in this country because this is the only country you have? How can I talk to you and have you on this team where we can just continue to push our agenda regardless of politics? So. Thank you. Well, thank you. I really appreciate about what Kiki said is saying. Like today we were chatting in your apartment. Um, this is something like Gambia. As Gambia, we need to join together and work together. You know what I mean? So at any association that you see happening, at it big or small, it starts on Everything must have a beginning anyway, just to make it so. Yeah. So this association is going to be us for the years. Like we have to join together, work together, and make it possible. Something like this is a very, um, it's a big thing for the country, for the youth, for friends and family. Because um, he's been stayed for so many years now, and we've been here. So you can be there not to initiate anything. Just to be there doing your own job, benefit your own family. You don't care. But if you see you now coming, bringing the youths together, it's love that you bring in the country. So, which is very important. Like what I was saying to you, this association which we all going to um, join together and make it happen. And how it's going to happen, like we are in social media now. And you cannot just say, fine, I have this financial money. I'm gonna make this thing happen. Anything must have a beginning, and it's gonna be a joining hands together. And like what we what is happening here today, like today, you can post this on the internet, which is called Gambia. And we have many Gambian people all over the world, all over the world. So they can like it, and they can also like to join the association, like we here. I have my own um, Facebook page. I can put it there, and everybody can do it. So we have friends and family. So you will, whoever wants to join the association, they are just highly welcome. It's a new thing, and we're all working here. Me, I'm a businessman. And also, it's like I'm doing the same. Because I start small. Thank God I'm becoming big, big, big every day. Because I'm also training people. I have people working for me. I have staffs. I have attendees that can make it locally. People are working for me. So I'm training them, I'm paying some people, I'm training some people. So this is just like a joining an association. So like what I am doing, I can also sit and just concentrate on my own business. I don't care any um, youths to train them because I have my stops already in my brain. But if you also see we are creating things, making boys, you know, training them, it's just to um, put Gambia forward. So that's what he also is trying to do in the country here. So what we can all do is we just um, join together and make this happen. Because what I can learn in the Gambia, some of the Gambian youth are very, very lazy. Sorry to say that, but this is what is happening. Because um, not everybody can be thinking of you going to Europe and make something. Me, I didn't even go to the airport. You know what I mean? 
I even that I never even go to the airport. Maybe if I go to the airport, I would just go and pick my guys and come down. But I have an um, aim and the courage that I will live in this country. And this is what is happening. I'm now doing road training, some people joining my company. So now, and this appreciation happening here, what is this that is launching? I'm from this pattern and behind this. And whoever I see want to join the association, I will give them courage. Because you never know what is gonna happen. We are all you. We are here today and we don't know what is gonna happen tomorrow. So this is life. So all what I can say to make this shorter is let us join it racer, make this thing happen. So we don't know what is gonna happen. And this association, you know, we got so many people in all over the world. So when they see this happening on the internet, we got so many rich people. Somebody can say, wow, this boy is doing a very great thing in the country. And me, I was a bumster. Um, I, I'm, I'm a tall guy, I'm a bumster. You know what I mean? And if you um, and you say something, you say, wow, this is something that is an ambition that I want to do it. And when they heard you saying that, or oh, through your chatting, because they know that you have sense and the courage and, and the ambition to do the thing. So they can support you. So this could be happen like that. We now want you to the thank God. We said this is similar. So what is gonna to happen tomorrow, who knows? So somebody can make it bigger. And one day we um we hoping our next meet here, um, this place is gonna be four. Because as you say, Gambia is like that. You have to start something. Make all your work. Even me, this is a typical example for me. I make my business possible. And me alone, I was having a very terrible buy. You know what I mean? It's just a story. And now, thank God, I have my motorbike, I have my cars. So, who knows what is going to happen? This is just life. So, tomorrow, we have to be full because then we're finding that things are getting there. Because what I believe is, Gambia, everybody needs to be having a good thing, tips everywhere. So, in the future, when that thing happens, all these people will be there. So, we can do something, generate things, help the learners, like compromise. <coughs> You know, where people can, you know, help the local, you know, which is important. So this is my work, and I think we just make it happen. Yeah? Thank you so much.